Hey guys, we're back. Today we're coming at you with a couple new items for the new iPad Pro 13 inch from a company ESR. You've probably been seeing them all over YouTube lately because they've been giving the bag to all sorts of YouTubers to promote their products for these new iPads. And they're one of the few companies that actually have cases and accessories available for the iPad right now. Uh, the bigger companies like Spigen, they're just not available yet. And I've purchased these with my own money. I've had them for a few weeks now. I actually got them in before the new iPads were even announced. So they've been ready. But let's get into this. We have a case called the Hybrid 360 and also just a, a magnetic drawing screen protector. So it's got that paper-like feel. Uh, you can pre-order from paper like right now, but I don't think they're shipping for like another month. So this is, looks like it's just a reusable one. You can take it on and off as you, as you please. So I didn't get that nano texture. I wanted to, but after hearing some other YouTubers talk about how it's more for, you know, glare and, uh, and light hitting the display rather than getting that drawing feel, I decided not to go with it. And I'm kind of happy because I, I knew I was going to want to put one of these screen protectors on when I'm using my Apple Pencil, but how would that make the display look when it's already got the nano texture and then another layer on top of that? So let's see if this works for me, but let's get into the case first. We'll put that aside. This is called the Hybrid Hybrid Case 360, and it comes in a ton of colors. This one's black, uh, but you can also get gray, navy blue, pink, purple, and white. All the colors all have different pricing, uh, but for whatever reason, that's how ESR always is, and black is always the cheapest. So this one was $35.99 on Amazon. I'll drop the links below so that you can find them quickly but let's get right into this so right here it says you can transform and do more it's got a ton of different viewing angles but you know let's see how that really looks I must say also pretty nice packaging over the years I've had ESR cases I, I started this channel with the 2021 M1 iPad Pro and doing some ESR unboxings like the packaging was super plain so they've definitely stepped it up over the years so you have this nice silicone texture it's basically the same as what is on the magic keyboard little piece of protector paper get this styrofoam out here that's great for the environment, right? Oh man, got a lot of stuff in here. So let's peel that back. Pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. Okay, so there's two layers. Okay, so we have just kind of the layer to protect the iPad as well as an outside shell. So it's a two layer system. Got another one right here. Just that, I guess. Get this off my finger. So let's bring the iPad in. And throw it on. Super lightweight. Super thin, obviously, to match the iPad. But let's see here. So, perfect cutout for the USB C Thunderbolt cable port. So thanks, Siri. We didn't need that. Um, charging grills. It's got a little bumper right here on the side. Got a little logo if you could see that there. Just says ESR. It's got a little divot for your pencil. 
Sorry, the pencil on there. It's charging. It's what I like to see. Microphone cutout. Buttons. They're actually pretty tactile, which I do like. Power on, power off. It works. Up on the top. Speaker grills. Another microphone. Borders have that like little tiny protection on them. So not much, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? And then so we can just magnetize that right on there. Boom. Okay. So at first it didn't feel like this was actually going to close. But it does. Secures that pencil in there quite nicely. The tip hangs out just a bit. Just the tip. Just a little bit. But it's going to keep your iPad pencil or your Apple Pencil secure. Got the cutout for the camera. And it does have a little script in there. Just says camera guard. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Just says camera guard. So it's got some nice indentation in there too to protect that camera. This adds a you know a little bit of girth onto the tablet, but not much. So that's kind of cool. You can use it like say, hey, I don't, I just want edge protection on there. You can see that clear back with the space black. You know, it's actually kind of dusty already. Probably get in there and clean that out a bit better than I did, but it, I mean it was brand new. But yeah, I like it. So, all right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do better than that. So you got your standard angles there. It is pretty sturdy. Got that angle. What else do they tell us that we can do? So let's look at the packaging. So you got it either all by itself. You can set it up that way. There we go. A little triangle back there. So if you want to draw like this. I probably don't have it correct, but it's not as sturdy as I would like. I mean, it's fine, but all this refocusing. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, it's showing different angles. I'm not really catching on to it just yet here from the unboxing, but you know, I'm sure if you play with it a little bit more, you can figure it out. One thing that they do tote now is you can put this on vertically like that, but we just got these cameras on the horizontal side, horizontal side, and that's where we want it. We don't need to mess with uh, our iPads vertically anymore. I guess if you really want to read an article, something like that, you can, but I won't be using it like that. So, just a nice basic case. It feels good. Ton of colors to choose from. Protects your pencil, protects your edges, has good buttons. That's, that's what I look for in a case. So, I like it a lot. Guys, just a quick update. A few minutes into the future, I've noticed a couple things with this case that kind of irritate me. Still a good case, but kind of irritate me. So one of the viewing modes that they talk about is called standing mode. And you kind of have to take the case off the magnet from the bottom and you have these grooves here. So you take it off, you stick it in that groove and you're watching, watching, watching. And then 
I noticed that excuse me, the lip it doesn't go anywhere it just kind of stays there and it's annoying so more annoying than that light and you know you're trying to watch something and that's just always there like most cases they have a magnet in the back that this will flap down and stick to uh, this case doesn't do that and it's not you know necessarily a deal breaker just kind of something that you know I wanted to point out um, but that's it let's check out this drawing protector so I already got some fingerprints here on the screen I've cut this open because if you take a look at this when I got it it shows the cutout on the other side rather than up here where the new camera is. And I thought, did I buy the wrong the wrong one? And no, it was for the new 2024, but it says picture is for reference only. So because these came out early, you know, they probably didn't want to show it like that, but they showed it on their on Amazon and on their website like that. So I don't know what the deal was. So we got a cleaning kit, some junk, and you actually have a protector for this to go back in. So when you want to throw it on, you can, you want to take it off, put it back in the protector. So let's get the cleaning kit out. I'm going to leave this outer protector from the case on. I don't see the cloth in here. Did I miss it? Yep. So we got the cloth. Let's see how this works. So remove the protective film. And bam, it's on. So that was super simple because it's magnetic. It just sticks in place where it should. Sorry about that light. Let's see how it feels. So the nano texture was an extra $100 if you got the one or two terabyte option, which this is the two terabyte. I could have gone with it, but like I said before, I didn't want to also put another screen protector over that nano texture because drawing is what I was more concerned with. And this was $13.99. So do the math. You can literally buy what, five, six of these for the price. Um, and this is reusable. So let's try to take this off. Just pops right off easily. And we can stick it back in here. Bam. It's protected. Throw it in a drawer. And then pop it out when you need it. Because you don't always need that texture. Unless you're writing. You don't want it to really dull up your beautiful tandem OLED while you're watching movies, making videos, doing whatever you want to do on your iPad. But then when you want to draw, bust this out, throw it back on. And then you're good to go. Okay, so I didn't get that on there just perfectly that time, but I feel like having this case on here too just kind of helps you get to that border more. So boom, we're right back there. So that's it guys. Let me know what you think. I'll drop the, the links for both of these, the case and the screen protector down in the comments below. So if you want to see more of this, we have some more ESR cases coming. I know they have a keyboard case that tries to compete with the Magic Keyboard. I don't think it's going to happen because this thing is freaking awesome. But we're still going to check it out. Uh, we'll check out that Logitech combo that you can buy on Amazon.com right now. Or no, Apple. You can't get it on Amazon yet. But 
we're going to have a ton of iPad stuff. So if you just got a new iPad and you want to see what accessories go best with it, give me a subscribe, check out the future videos, hit some comments, hit some likes, and we'll see you guys in the future. Until then, it's Buck Life. Peace.